Um, Goody, should we do a little injury update maybe to start things off? Um, a few of the boys are like, start with Clayton if we can. Yeah, Clay is ready to go. You know, he's uh, he had some, he came up to Alice. He did a lot of training up there. Um, you know, he'll train fully today and he'll be right to go. So he's done an incredible job to get himself right. Um, you know, he's been uh, he's been in my office a fair bit in the last four or five days, telling me how he's going to be ready to go. So um, you know, he'll be he'll be back in the team. And uh, Jake Leeper as well. Yeah, look, he's been cleared of any significant damage, which is fantastic, you know, for his shoulder. Um, so we'll just ease him through the week and, you know, he'll train on, on Friday in preparation for the game and we'll see where he sits at that point. But we're confident that he'll get up and, uh, and play some good footy for us. Just on Clayton, Simon, how, how much do you feel that you've dodged a bullet there with, you know, given it was a broken thumb and can be something that, you know, can sideline a player for quite a while? Yeah, obviously, you know, it's pretty. It was an assessment done really quickly by a medical team to to find out that he had a had a crack in his thumb and to get it operated on really quickly. And you know, we're really confident that with surgery and with the plate being put in and some pins and that put into his thumb, that um, that'll stand up for the rest of the season. So, um, you know, he's done an incredible job with his rehab. You know, he was really diligent. He wanted to get the surgery as quickly as possible and get himself back playing as quickly as possible. And in the end, I think the freshen up for him last week. Um, it's going to do him well. You know, it gives us a chance to manage our team, have a look at some different things through the middle of the ground. And um, you know, now we get a chance to get a fresh Clayton Oliver back into our footy team ready to go. Is there any, um, any concern over Ben Brown? Apparently he was a, a little proppy on the track yesterday, maybe a bit of a knee issue. Yeah, look, he's got some ongoing management of his knee that he's going to have for the rest of his career. Um, we knew that when we when we brought Ben to our footy club and that's ongoing. So um, he's still looking really positive for this week. He's obviously gonna have a quieter week on the training track, but it's just the ongoing management. We've got a short turnaround, a six day turnaround, and it's very normal for Ben to have a quiet week on, on those six day turnarounds. So um, you know, he'll train Friday with the group and be ready to play. No, one, no one's offering much here, Simon. Um, what do you make of the power? Of the power? The dogs? Where am I? Oh, sorry. I'm just I'm completely all over the place. Um, not offering much at all, me. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, another, well, another team in that bracket, I guess, that they're, they're going to, you know, if it was either, they'd be coming at you bloody hard. They, yeah. need, they badly need the big win. Yeah, look, I think if anyone saw their game against St Kilda last week, they'd say that all their strengths were back on show. I thought their midfield were really dominant. They had that explosive handball game out of stoppage and they are able to hit the scoreboard from that, that part of the, the ground. So, um, you know, we know what they're about, the Western Boys. We've played them a lot over the last couple of years. They're always great games of footy. They challenge us in a whole range of different areas and they look like they're back in their best form. So I just think it's going to be a really exciting game on Saturday night at Marvel and you know, two teams that, you know, will be fighting a really tough contest. Simon, I know you probably don't like to look too far ahead, but beyond the dogs, every game running into September is a game against a team in the top eight. I mean, is that significant in terms of what you'll be able to do with your own team and you, you'll be able to put out your best every week and really, really amp up and you'll hit September full of running? Do you look at it like that? Absolutely we do. You know, we think, you know, the challenge is right before us as a footy club and we spoke about that last week and it's now time to start putting our best footy out on the park consistently and, um, you know, you look at the teams that we're playing on the run towards the finals, it's, they're going to be challenging in, you know, every week that we play and they're going to, you know, tease the best out of us of our footy and we'll learn a lot about our group on that path and um, it's just a brilliant, you know, preparation for us and, you know, it's no different this weekend against the Bulldogs. They challenge us you know, in a lot of areas and we're going to have to be at our best. So it's a perfect you know, preparation for us. It's the perfect way we want to play our footy against the best teams in the competition. It gives us a good look at where we're at. Does it impact your capacity, although you mentioned Jake Lever and being sort of um, cautious with him, does it impact what you can do with players, though, in terms of those with niggles? Do you have to turn them out every week or you, will you still sort of look after the ones that need to be looked after? Yeah, we'll just look after the ones that we need to look after. We'll continue to manage our group in the way that we you know, see fit. And 
Um, you know, all these opportunities present themselves on the way. You know, Clayton Oliver last week, you know, got a week off of footy through having a, a thumb surgery and, you know, got his away, away from the game. So we manage our players in the best way possible. We certainly won't take risks with our playing group. Um, but, you know, we, we also need to continue to perform and build cohesion and build the way that we want to play. So there's a whole mixture of that as we head towards September. Hi, Simon. I was just wondering if there's been any talk within the club just after the AFL's warning yesterday about the head high free kicks. Yeah, look, we'll show our players and educate our players. It's not something that we coach within our playing group. Um, I think it's fantastic that they've been able to come out and say this is what they're going to focus in on. Um, from an umpiring perspective, and there's no doubt it's a challenge for umpires. You know, I don't think it's a great look for our game um, where we try and draw free kicks, um, but it is a tough thing to umpire. So for them to come out, send a message, this is what we're looking at, um, and we can pass that message on to our players, and you know, hopefully it, we can try and eradicate that type of stuff out of the game.